Okay, welcome everyone, Questine here with Alien Isolation. It's a game that's been out for a number of years already, but I figured I'd play it through it again. I'm trying something new, you know, a new series. Play through various games. Obviously, I'm still gonna focus quite a lot on World of Warcraft, but hey, I figured I might as well do some other stuff as well. Not much to do in WoW at the moment. So, Alien Isolation, start game, and there are one, two, three, four, five difficulties. No novice is very, very easy. Easy is pretty much a joke. And it's then you have hard, which is the recommended way to experience the game according to the developers. Um, then you have Nightmare, the ultimate test of survival. Nightmare is, I think you only have one life, if I'm not mistaken. This is not necessarily the kind of game you want to do that. It's very, very easy to, to die if you make a mistake. Anyway, so I am going to start a new game on hard. Okay, enter confirm. And let's go. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Alright, I feel like I'm gonna have to uh, up the volume in that. 
Actually, I'll uh, just do that the moment I get control. Hell of a way to fly in space, but it makes a lot of sense in more ways than one. Uh, the reason it makes sense is because it allows you to save up a lot on supplies. You don't need to carry as much oxygen, food, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's sign in. But first, we're going to collect a bunch of uh, stuff here. So, the way these lockers, uh, I feel, work is that it's kind of random, like what you get. Like, obviously, there are certain things that are always going to be there, but uh, at the same time... Uh, at the same time, there's certainly a good element of randomness as well associated with it. Alright, um... Now I can save there, but there's no reason to. Not sure if she would want to have a shower right now. Now there's a lot of these uh, messages on these old laptops. Regular beds as well. Alright, take a shower. And this is how you save. There are no... Uh, there are some checkpoints. The game does provide that at some points. But by and large, this is how you're gonna save. On these kind of terminals. I think when you enter a level, like whenever there's a loading screen, you also have a save at that point. I think Selene. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the DLC, and right now, I—I'll uh, be honest. Uh, I don't really have the money to buy it either. Sadly enough, that's just kind of where I'm at at the moment as as a content creator. I mean, it's been. Uh, it hasn't been the best period of my life. I also made some. Bad investments. I mean, they're not completely lost, but like the way things are looking right now, it's not gonna pay off. Or they might. I don't know. I'll know in a few days, or I might know today. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to. The Nostromo. Yes, M Class. A later pattern. Close inspect. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong on this, but Samuels reminds me heavily of that guy from Star Trek Enterprise, the gunnery officer, I believe it was. I could be wrong, but it's like, I swear it's that voice. Easily one of the best horror games. Yeah, it's an actual horror game. I mean, it's what it is, right? Like, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't complain too much, but it remain, but it's like you just realize, especially when you're interacting with a lot of people from around the world, just how horrible fucking Romania is in comparison. Even if people don't realize it. But consider that a good salary in this country would be like... I don't know. Let's say... Uh, let's say the highest I think I know from people who work high-level jobs, unless they're a company manager or something like that, is like maybe two thousand, three five, three thousand at most per month, and that's on a higher end of things. All right, so oh, okay. That's what it is. It's... I mean, I've been struggling for years on YouTube. It's nothing new. I'll 
just struggle some more. Maybe Raph will be the success story. I mean, TBC could have been a success story if I hadn't, if Blizzard hadn't cocked it up and I wasn't completely disgusted by them as a company at that point. Though it does seem that they're changing direction as well. No, there is a major drought of video games at the moment, though. And YouTube also doesn't favor content creators diversifying, if that makes sense. You have to build Dave, your own niche. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry, that was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Alright, so let's go to the bridge. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. That's an AI core, if I'm not mistaken. We're just waiting for Samuels, really. Where is he? There we go. Our friendly neighborhood android. And he is actually friendly. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector lock. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. If he's an android, why is he wearing a space suit? Cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Yeah, that's a bit far. Can they? Yeah, I mean, there, there's obviously leaps of logic. What the fuck happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. <laughs> Just keep moving. Samuels! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! 
Okay, so let's begin. Now, I'm gonna be very careless at this particular point in the game because I'm just gonna go for it quickly. Because there is no threat until it appears like you do see the alien and uh, the androids, which are your main enemies here. You will see them from very, very... Uh, like, you will see them pretty quickly, but it's like until you actually see them the first time, you're pretty safe, actually. The atmosphere certainly is creepy right from the get-go, but yeah. Uh, let's see where... Ah, there we go. Okay. So she has no radio in her suit. Okay. Let's just save here. An emergency phone. Save point. Now map... The map doesn't automatically grow. Eh, maybe. I'm in radiation, possibly. That said, I mean, it's kind of clear from the very onset that he is an android, based on the comments Ripley is making. Hell, the comments Samuels makes. Now, here's a weird uh, aspect here. If I go to game, you have... No, actually not game, uh, video. So normally the way FOV works is like you go to the right, but in this case, the FOV slider to 75 is like you have to drag it to the left. By the way, it starts at 47 there. It's by the way a good looking game. I'm actually impressed by how the ship looks, how the game looks. It's certainly dripping with the atmosphere and all that. And this is from a developer that's only really made one game series, and that's Total War. I mean, they've tried to diversify with other stuff in the past, but it's like... Creative Assembly, just out of the blue, made one of the better horror games that's ever been made. <laughs> it's really one of the better alien games that's ever been made. Or, arguably, the best alien game that's ever been made. I'm not counting the uh, Alien vs. Predator stuff in this, by the way. Yeah, she got the shit kicked out of her. But this is a tutorial area. If I'm not panicked right now, it's because I already know that I'm not gonna face any threat. Atmosphere can only do so much. Though I remember the first time I came here... God damn. Uh... I remember the first time I came here that I was bloody well terrified. Because you never, because I, because you certainly have this tense atmosphere from the very, very start of it. Hold on. Before I go down there, or yeah, before I go up there, I kind of want to follow this. There might be something there. And I can come up there through this. Alright. Hold on, actually. Oh, okay. So I can't go back down. What do we have here? F and all. No recipes yet. I do need a medkit recipe. I should be careful at in my rush to get things Hello? done. Anyone here? All right, the passcode required. Now here's the thing about passcodes: you, you can't just like, oh, I'll look them up on the internet and I'll I'll do it. I'll use those. Right? That's not how it's gonna work here. You do actually have to find them in-game, physically. 
uh, to be able to open certain doors. Zero for E, four, zero. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. All right, there's a bit of a... Okay, I charge back. Okay. Alright, just gonna go pick up all the stuff that can be picked up around here. Now, some of these doors are closed, but I'll be back. There is some backtracking in this game. Not necessarily a significant amount, but there it does exist. This is a really massive station. Oh, ouch! Death, destruction, a monster. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't get hit by that wire. Okay, yeah, I remember now I need to go up. There we go. I don't think a med kit is full HP. I think it uh, it's about half. Could be wrong, but I'm not quite eager to test that. The No one can hear you scream in space. to restore power. Ignore the alien like scream, it's only steam. For now. Alright, gaming consoles, I guess. That door is open. All right, just saving. Nearby, our law enforcement officers can be found in the Marshall Bureau, ensuring round-the-clock safety. Finally, the Josiah Six Suites, named to honor the founder of the Six Incorporation, houses the workers and families living on Sebastopol, as well as providing executive suites. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sebastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waves and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Okay. Moving on. This whole damn place is falling apart. Just checking. A bit of scrap. Some wires I really don't want to touch. Oh, 
Oh yes, I am utterly terrified. Beeping. Okay, I'll need to go through there, but first, doing a bit, explore a bit. Now that requires a plasma torch. That's gonna take me a while to find. Or the piles of bodies that I'm walking past. Right, so we need to restore power to actually open that door, and we do need to go there. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. All right, there is your power. That door is locked. You need a transmission jack, maintenance jack. It's closed. For now. So for now, I'm just gonna restore power. That's gonna open the door uh, to a security room, basically. It does have a bit of a slow start, undeniably so. Try doing this with an alien on your ass. Believe me, it's as fun as it uh, sounds. the marshals looters will pay okay are you hyped for house of uh, the dragon ah kinda to an extent yeah sure As always, I'm not fond when they make changes from the source material, for, especially when they make changes from the source material for the sake of the diversity, like House Valerian. I, I get it. Oh, Martin had this idea of like making them black, uh, and it's like so we made them black. It's like, yeah, fuck off, <laughs> more or less. Reverse, it's Turner. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked. But honestly, that's not the thing I'm bothered about the most. Like, you know. Like, I don't like it when people do that because it just stinks of pandering. It's like in political correctness and it's like I've seen so many, uh, so many shows and movies, etc. being ruined by that already. Where the, where the person making it is more concerned about that kind of crap. Uh... But maybe that's just a token if it's like, yeah, we have a black character, don't accuse us of racism, of not representing the modern society. Um, but, but beyond that, I guess I'm a bit hopeful because like Martin may have been a lot more involved in this project than he was in Game of Thrones. Uh, it has a much bigger budget. The door with a maintenance jack. Uh, so... It might work out for the better, like, it, it feels to me like, like, it's probably gonna be better than Game of Thrones at the very least. <laughs> like, the only season of Game of Thrones that I actually really liked was the first one, because with some differences, some, especially like the battle of the Green Fork being missing and all that, but with some differences, the first season of Game of Thrones was good as an adaptation. But beyond that, it was just a piss poor adaptation and ultimately ended up being a piss poor story after the third season. Like season two was okay, especially because it had the best episode in the entire series with the Battle of Blackwater. Which incidentally, the Battle of Blackwater in Game of Thrones was written by George R. R. Martin. Who knows what the fuck he's doing. So I guess we'll see with House of the Dragon. 
as for the rings of power, oh dear. I mean, it feels like this is something Amazon is doing in general. It's like, they're it's like, oh, we're gonna make this character black and character all that. Like, House of the Dragon at least is like, oh, it's just this one house, right? Whereas with uh, the Rings of Power, it's like, oh, we got black elves and black uh, hobbits. And it's like, okay, how does any of that make sense? Fuck. It doesn't. Hello? I want to make a complaint to the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. Do you get that? I think I need this more than you My do. complaint is this. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. Fucking shit. It's so cold. What I'm wondering about is how, how the fuck do they get cockroaches in that place? <laughs> Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Harris, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing voices everywhere. Every creaking. Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Okay. There are no aliens active yet. Hmm. Well, Vib, it's like I gotta focus on other things in life considering the ship pile that I find myself in. <laughs> That's uh, just how life is sometimes. That was a good ride, but yeah. All right, let's open this. Stay still. Okay, okay. Uh, turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blew just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. trust you. I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. 
Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. Watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? Is that you following me back there? I had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Stick close to me. What? Hey, don't move. Uh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. You're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. I hope this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship, I need to know what's going on. Right fucking now! Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. All right. <sighs> Shit. We need to move. This way. Get down. This is bullshit, man. We should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. Mm -hmm. Trouble. We'll have to go random. Follow me. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers. Even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. I don't know when you'll get another chance. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Okay. So we got the flashlight. It will have a very long and productive life, I can tell you. Wow. 
What now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. Of course, uh, there are certain areas. Yeah, using the flashlight a lot is a death sentence. Let's just say that. This is a game where you want to stay hidden. Okay, let's move on. So for a minute then. It's not smart to stay here too long. Travels around here. Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. I'm sure going for vents is a good way to try to stay alive so that's again. Your ship, huh? Quiet. I hear something. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. Follow me. All right. Just the sensor. the emergency someone else has been here everyone Quiet stay lady. alert keep your guns tight shoot anyone you don't know stick around while I check our stock Right. Take it easy. Nice work, Ripley. This way. Let's keep it Let's keep going. How much you good? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. Sevastable, not quite what you're expecting, eh? Okay, good. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. Hey. Okay. have cut us off got it we need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side okay ready on three one two three Axel, 
behind you. Fuck you! Get here now! I've got the thieving son of a bitch! Fuck! Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? There's your alien. I keep moving. Although it's not yet a problem for me to deal with. And now we wait. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty bloody tense moment. Cause you're wait you're sitting here, you're waiting, you're waiting. For that transit car to to arrive, you've got nothing to do while that happens, except hear the screams of the alien. It's gonna take a while. There we go. What? But, oh, okay. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I actually thought I saved, uh, I was safe, but it's like... Okay. That's actually the first time that's happened to me. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. I guess I made too much noise. <laughs> uh, I should have just uh, stood still, done nothing. But yeah, the alien is not supposed to pick you up there. Because it's not supposed to really be active there the assholes have cut us off got it we need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it i'll do this one you go to the one on the other side okay ready on three one two three axel behind you uh, uh, uh. Son of a bitch! You bum sticky! <laughs> uh, uh. Fuck! Hey. Let's go! The others are on their way! We need to go! No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Shoot him! I think he's dead! They killed him! Come on! All right. What the hell was that thing? 
death, destruction, annihilation. I keep moving. Yeah, Ripley, please, by all means, keep talking. It will be very conducive towards your health and well-being. So I know the alien is alive <laughs> and it, well, active here, but I think it's only a case of if you make too much noise. If I'm standing still like this. Okay. Oh, close. Fuck me, that was close. <laughs> yeah, the tension rises, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. I'm through. And the alien shouldn't be active for a while. And when it does become active, it's pretty obvious moment. Oh boy. <laughs> Station serving Sixen communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Should be safe now. Yeah, that happened because I didn't expect it. Okay, that's where I need to go. Alright, should be fine. Let me just open this door. Okay, and I'm gonna save again just to be on the safe side. Things are about to get tense real quickly here. Although, you can't save too often. So I need a passcode here. She, she's gonna fire two shots Guys, and that's it. Over here. Someone's here. Marie, listen to me very carefully. 
I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. Yeah, I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. Okay. He just looked right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. And higher difficulties, there is a chance for the alien to show up prior to its formal. Okay, well, didn't expect that to happen. So you're saying that I was basically... So, so you're saying that while I was running around like a maniac, there was a chance that the alien would just plop up and execute me. Well, I guess that happened. Okay, uh, yeah. And what, is there a chance for the alien to just show up in places where it's not supposed to? Maybe if you make too much noise. Alright, so the best thing I can do... An access tuner. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data cell. way a bit hey, I think she went downstairs come on I I'm not going down there no way she's got your hack tool Well, that's not quite I, what I intended to do. So the alien is active. You ever see those vents upstairs? Fucking a vote. Fuck. <laughs> I might just be waiting in some of those vents up there, ready to jump down on your hide to kill you. That fucking noise. Alright, save game. The tension rises. We need a key card. Oh, it's here. It's gonna be very useful, gentlemen. What, with, with six shots that it does have? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, getting the alien to spawn in the trans station <laughs> happened to me before. All right, that device is invalid. Wait a second. If you ever see drool. Well, the save game ma uh, machine is telling me that things are safe. So, who am I to judge it? Okay. That doesn't work for now. And it may work in a bit. Oh god. The flight recorder. What? What? Somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? 
Okay. Now it makes sense that the ringing alarms would detract the alien. Give me a break. And now we're gonna have to deal with it. The joys of alien isolation. Alright, we just need to get through that door. And meet our new best friend. The one that's gonna terrorize us for the next couple of hours. Of our very short and miserable lives. Alright, I'm gonna need to be very careful now. You see the door it's going through? Guess who's gonna have to follow it out through that door? We're gonna have to move slowly. I am gonna... I'm gonna have to move for that. I don't hear it. It's there. All right, I'm just gonna save that console. And then, well, actually there's no save point. You see the door that was at, at the other end? That's the door I need to go through. However, some things to mention. I can go back the way I came.
There are th there are things that I do want to pick up. That door is locked by security terminal. What do I mean device invalid? Piss the fuck off. I may die with this little detour. Fuck it. I'll come back here later. This is not worth risking my neck. Shit. Go, 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 Amanda. Go. Oh. oh. It's done. Whew, holy fuck. That was tense. I never knew when the alien was gonna respawn. That's why. Okay, this area is safe for a moment. Hello? My name's Ripley, Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. to restore power there. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Need a key card that requires an iron torch. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. Can I help you? I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Are you lost? No, no problem.
All right. Let's keep moving. Okay, that's one noisemaker. A second one. Let me in. I need to contact my ship. There's gotta be another way inside. Yeah. Reestablish long range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Tut, tut. This is only sound of Okay, so safe to communication. Let's go there. Come on. And we're just getting started. You know, you have to expect when you call one of these elevators that it's just gonna like be like a jump scare. It's like an alien's gonna be inside or something like that. <laughs> you know, I love the gun. It's so useless. It takes easily four shots to the head to kill an android. Central communications hub seeks an employees only.
Okay. So I got the map. Let's open that computer. Let's see what we get. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Yutani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sebastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down, and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down, and we need help. Stand off and send help. This is Verlaine on the Torrens. What the hell just happened? Sebastopol! Did any of our EVA team make it on board? Please respond! We've taken damage in the explosion and are pulling out of Sebastopol's base. Systems will be down while we repair. I can't say for how long. External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications off. Oh, that's just great. Gotta be someone on the station I can contact. Okay, so I got some email, uh, some uh, messages, and yeah, co communications are blocked. This Apollo is proving to be quite the nuisance. They know I'm here.
Somehow I don't think the droids are as aware as the alien is. I'm not gonna run? Okay, so that's an EMP. I can make some of those to help me with... Yeah, my ass I can. So much for the idea of doing this quietly. Shit. Well, 
Right. Oh fuck. No. Uh, shit. Is there... Uh, gotta be a way out. I have a weapon right now to use against them, but I feel I shouldn't waste it. Okay, I need to uh, avoid any vents at the upstairs. This is gonna be a running theme though. Just gotta know that. Running theme of Ripley tripling the alarm. That's not good. I can't exactly. out for this section at least but I need to get out of communications this is central communication. the alien isn't here I feel like I'm... Shit. What are you doing here? Apparently dying. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a bit rough. That was just the first part, though.
Those alarms are still tripping. Yeah, it's gotta make it out. Alright. Don't run. That's a really, really bad idea. I can walk, but I'll be damned if running doesn't attract that thing. That's the game telling you, you're about to get fucked. <laughs> There are ways or Shit. There, that was the alien that was just paying me a visit there. Time to crawl. You see that there? I see that there. If you find this facility can escape and this will be your likely please let me know. Be careful with these fucking vents. Okay. Let's check that. So the alien is in the area, ready to gobble me up if I move beneath one of its uh, vents that it's got active. I made it through the... I managed it. Uh, I got through communications. Tense. Very tense, but done. Now let's get to <laughs> safety. Safety is an illusion. Peace is a lie.
Now, I've just kind of walked out of the... The kettle into the fire, it feels like. <laughs> That's, uh... It's here. I just need to... be very very careful well truthfully I just need to make a cross and make it across probably a bit safer I do hear it I have been a wiser move to just run for it by that, I don't mean actually running for it, I mean going directly to... ...to the other side. Let me check that. What? <laughs> right. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> That's a passcode or a, p a code that I still require. Trying to not make too much noise. I want to go save. <laughs> I kind of feel... I like how those guys are just still alive. Just mentioning this. Uh, 
Not for long. No one is safe. <laughs> I am quietly impressed that they, they're still alive at this point. I won't be for much longer if I stay the fuck around here. Close encounter. <laughs> Ripley's a scared little girl. <laughs> Everyone's a scared little girl compared to that bloody thing. Well, that was, that's been tense so far. Fun two hours, <laughs> or one and a half, I guess, if you count, uh, if you, you're not counting, yeah. Uh, all the time that I just spent uh, traipsing around in the very first section of the game. Oh, that was good. That was a good time, wasn't it? Well, I am going to take a small break, a couple of minutes, get my nerves back together to begin with, after some close encounters with the lovely, lovely alien there. But we were just getting started, gentlemen. That was just the easy part. The hard part is yet to be. So yeah, I'll just be back in like 5-10 minutes, something like that.
All right, let, uh, let's continue. Now, this is... Okay, what's that? Tell you what, I'm gonna call in. Alright, I need to go there anyway, but first. I'm gonna explore a bit, see what I can find. Is that a wise move? Alright, I can open that. Don't think I don't fucking hear that. Keep out. Alright, let's see what's in here. <laughs> now, to be very clear... Uh, I just want the maps. Well, at least that door is locked. Wherever lies behind it. This might be a really, really fucking stupid move on my part. I, I feel... I feel it's worth checking out at least. Make no mistake, the alien is here. Or an alien. A uh, alien. Oof. Is that? Not sure if that's just a wire or its tail. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm a bit busy, Rune. <laughs> I 
Okay. Go, 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 go. Made it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm kind of a bit busy when, uh... Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. <laughs> All right, let's go check the medical station. This is a big, big place. I think it's just showing me them. I'm gonna need a plasma torch. Should be able to get it soon enough. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a. I can't hear you. Hang on. Alright, let's go to the medical staff entrance. <laughs> now everyone on board is aggressive? Well, sure, a lot of people are. Forget the door. The marshals locked everything down. Use the vent. Well, a lone survivor in the medical station. There is no escape. this place.
catching us at our best. Right. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> A, a, a station infested by alien? Yeah. I'd certainly say that's not your best. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. All right, let's go see. This should be safe. <laughs> One of the few instances in which you in in where you can use this damn thing. Now let's play hide and seek with the bloody alien. All right, we need a key card. <laughs> yeah, I remember too, Elaine. I do remember this place, believe me. Can I ask him to shut the hell up? Keep moving. The area you're in was for our more unstable patients. I don't see. Those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Just tell me where to go. Tragic cases. Don't worry, they're all long gone. Are they now? See what we get. Okay, so their purification system is disabled there. Um, I 
Shut up. <laughs> I am not gonna follow your bloody instructions, that's for damn certain. I know the alien is here. Okay, so this is where I need to go. Uh, I could go from the underground. That's closed. Okay, there's only one option. I do have a noisemaker, and I do I could use it. That's right. Along that corridor. Now, before I move on, there we go, it's open. Let's see his computer. Have One seven. The passcode? Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just quarantine to find breach out what detected. That is. You focus on finding that key card. Shit. Know what that is. So I need to use that password to open that particular door. The problem is the alien is going to spawn there. Okay. So I could use a noisemaker. Look, we'll need the physical key 
card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just quarantine to find out breach what detected. That is. You focus on finding that key card. <laughs> Is it not here, really? Oh. It's coming. Okay, I need to wait. Just wait.
Just hide the fuck in here. Alright, it's on its way. That scares the crap out of me. All right, I want to get there. Um... That was a...
I know this is not where I'm supposed to go, but he's right behind me. Damn it, I can't make a firebomb, I don't have the Nister equipment. Okay. A lot of tension relieved because even if I die now... Alright, it's clear. I just need to make it here. Okay, so, um, <laughs> tense, uh, I'm sweating, I'm genuinely sweating right now. Um, I want to go out and I want to kind of, yeah, I, I think I want to. You might call me fucking dumb for coming here. Actually, I was here before. Fuck me. Crap. I'm just gonna go save. I'm as safe as I'll probably get in this situation. This is probably one of the harshest levels in the game. For a lot of reasons. One, it's long. So you're going a long period of time while being chased by the alien. That's the first reason. The second reason... You don't necessarily know where you're going. Yeah, this is great. Uh, 
out of use. And just keep it light, we have to make our way all the way back. <laughs> That's the best part. That's the delicious uh, juice that gives uh, that keeps on going here. Uh, that's uh, a nightmare. Now here's what I'm going to do to buy myself a bit of time. There he is. Uh, those are the rooms. Um, so I have two paths. Do I think? I think. I think one of them is closed. <laughs> so there's two choices, gentlemen. I'm gonna go save. First and foremost, I'm gonna go save. And then I'm gonna go make my rounds around the room. I'm tempted to throw a noisemaker. Don't fucking move. Let's keep going for a while. 
The alien doesn't shut it down. He did get distracted by it, but... Yeah, the medical station. <laughs> Who thought going to the hospital would be such a challenge? Now look, my best... Damn it. Maybe if I hadn't moved there, it's like... It's like a bear, you just stand still. <laughs> yeah, we gotta return to the good doctor. The problem is that gate is probably closed. <laughs> No, I, I mean, I want to check. <laughs> Tell you fucking what. Um, I wonder if, like, I just want to check two things. I want to know if there's anything. Son of a... Alright. Mm, being hunted by the bloody alien. I want to know if there's anything in these rooms, first and foremost. So I'll just check A uh, 827, A 28. Um, I might not find anything.
So that's the first thing. I'm just gonna fucking hide away. Alright, so that door is open. Yeah. Where? Oh boy. <laughs> well, I'm almost done here. Alright, so there's, uh, there's basically nothing in many of these rooms, like, I'm not gonna waste, uh, it would take me a few minutes, or quite a few minutes, to open the path to a, uh, to the last three rooms, right, so it's like, I'm not gonna go for that, it's not, All right, he's close enough that I'm not comfortable. I don't feel comfortable enough leaving right now. I don't quite hear him. The thing is, Elaine, I don't want to close the doors completely right now. What's he doing? There we go. We're done. I died a couple of times, got reckless, but... Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Now, that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Goodbye.
You know, one of the things I'm kind of wondering is like, is there... It would take a while. I kind of want to go in that room. There's stuff I want to pick up. Yes, I am a fucking masochist. After spending so, so long evading it. But the thing is, the room that guy was in has useful stuff in it. So the temptation as a player is, yeah, it's GTFO, basically. But it's the smarter thing to go open that door. What do you mean? Feel there's a way to get there. I just don't know how. I mean, the only... There's a small corridor there. But the only way to get in there... Let me see this. Oh, okay. So I'll be back here, apparently. Joy. Okay. Alright, let's go to...
Do you think that little stick is gonna help you against that thing? That's cute. You're cute, Amanda. But no. Oh, okay. Alright, we need to engage cooling system. Yes, I can't pick them up. Oh, there we go. Of course that M thing is here. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Good. Save point. Path is open. Moving on.
be safe. That's all very unfortunate. I guess it's just gonna be a bit of trial and error here. Nice locker, Memento. And nose. There it is. That fucking thing! Holy shit! Okay, okay, okay. That's a uh, nasty bloody thing, piece of work there. Okay, um, it doesn't seem to want to move. Oh. Right, I'm going the wrong way.
Hey, big boy. All right, there's a security desk right there. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to state. For the record. I have, been, I have been placed under duress with regards to the cover of my patient zero. And Ransom, Season's head of operations, he. He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen.
It feels like there's a save station close by. By the problem. The problem, well. I just need to get an opportunity to get to the save point. Well, at least I have a save point right next by. So I'm just gonna start that audio open, get that emergency valve shut off. Wonder if I can use a Molotov to. Here it comes. I just need to survive this one. 
Uh, he hasn't even... He hasn't actually sniffed me out in a... Yeah, now that might happen. Here, Samuels. Okay. Someone still alive? All right, we need to That's my way out. ER security Team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. 
I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman's sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with martial weights around. All right. I could block that door if I hit that switch quickly enough. But the thing is, I kind of need that door uh, to get to the ER, or to get to the operating theater, to uh, get that trauma kit. You know, I could use the switch. So there is the power plant, that's the ambulance bay. That's locked. That's locked as well, I guess. You know, once you get the flamethrower, you... Gunshots, you see. Yeah, and smoking in space, what a wonderful idea. I don't remember if they ever smoked in the Alien movies.
shit! Did you hear that? Oh. That's... man, that's... fuck you right there, right? Honestly. Alright, I'd say... I'd say I want to get the hell out of here. Samuels. Yeah, it's quite the hell. How the fuck did those guys survive in any way? Alright, that's my exit. Thankfully the alien has moved them the fuck out of the way. They've scattered. Thank you. 
You know, I kind of wish I could, uh... I kind of wish I, um... What I was going to say. Never mind, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> So this is where it all started, right? Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing, if I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up, quoted seeks and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait up. Samuels, I've got the notes. We're at the transit station. Outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. And if we heard them, so did the creature. Okay, now it's gonna take me out. Ripley, your way out through the medical reception is locked down. The only way to open up an exit is to trigger the hospital's evacuation procedure. Yeah, as if I'm gonna get close to that fucking vent. So I guess that's why it opened, because I needed to come here in... Who that? Ah, oh, save point. Thank fuck. Let me first save, then I'll activate. No, it's there, but... As long as I don't get too close to that, I'll be fine. Okay, two. And now the third. Thank you. 
city in a state that isn't your liking. Please let us know. Are you lost? Come on, go. Wow, what a bloody mess. You're joking, right? I need to follow that fucking thing? That's going to give me a bit of time. I need to save.
Yeah, be a good boy and get the fuck out of my life. <laughs> I need a divorce from this damn thing, I can tell you. Now the sad part is I need to follow it again. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's like, let's go after the friendly neighborhood alien. Why does it have to be like this? I have no idea. You know, I think I'm just gonna use that noisemaker to... Distraction that I need to GTFO out of here. Take a right. Finally, this is over.
Oh, son of a... Okay. Well, that was fun. And especially the part where, you know. Well, the alien can hear me. It can also teleport like a bloody bastard if you start running. So I can make it just fine. Sacrifice a noisemaker, but get it. Well, made it. A victory.
The medical uh, wing is finally cleared. That must have scared that bloody thing off. Or did it? I guess not. I might uh, do more War of the Ring. Thanks, Elaine. <laughs> that is greatly appreciated. Well. Uh, I might do... My intention with War of the Ring to do uh, was to do a full review of it. I recorded all the missions. You know, I think I'm going to stop for a moment. That's enough for a moment. Um, I think... But yeah, uh, Christine signing out, don't forget to subscribe, like, enable notifications, and I'll see you next time as I continue for 